Okay, so I'm inside brackets, and I'm going to go through and create a new page from the ground up just that so you guys have a recording you can go back and look to to make sure you're setting up files correctly um, every time that you start to, to work. So what I'm going to do first is just create a new page. And in this new file, you'll see that it's still referencing my movie folder. But if I go through and try to type, it's not auto-completing anything for me. That's because this page has no idea what it's supposed to be. So I'm going to choose File, Save As. And it's going to save inside of my movie folder. And I'm going to call it index-new for new.html. And because I have this HTML extension on it, it now knows that it needs to act like an HTML page. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Save. Now you'll see that as I begin to type, it starts to autocomplete uh, my opening tag for me. So HTML is the first tag that we use. The next tag that we use is the head tag. After the head tag, we open the title. Then we type the name of the page. In this case, I'm just going to call it Untitled Page and close the title. Then I close the head. Then I open the body of the page. And then I close the body. And then I close the HTML. And this is just a basic setup for the page. And it's just those same four tags. Put a D right there. There we go. So we have the HTML tags, which open and close the page. We have the head tag, which opens and closes the top part of the page, and the body tag, which opens and closes the content area that will be viewed inside the window. And then title is placed here inside of the head so that it can be used in the top tabs in the uh, title bar and even saved when we create bookmarks. So while these are the four basic tags that we use, there are a couple of other tags we can use to help us further define what the page is. As we talked about with the validation the other day, I can come in here and I can put in a doc type of HTML to show this page that it needs to be tested as HTML5. Um, so that's what that does right there. Also, so we can validate, we can come in here and we can add what the language is. The language attribute is placed inside the HTML tag, and we can simply put in EN for English and choose that there. And now when the page validates, it will check for HTML5, and it will know that the language I want to use is in English. Now another helper I can put underneath the title is the meta tag. And inside the meta tag, we have several different attributes we can place. The one we want to do is for the character set. Now the character set says, what kind of code uh, words are we going to use in here? Um, is it going to be uh, DOS? Is it going to be ASCII? Is it going to be universal? What is it going to be? Well, we're actually going to use UTF-8 is what we're going to use. And then I will close the tag. Now when it comes to meta tags, um, it is proper to put a slash at the end before we actually close the tag. Um, that will just help it understand that it is a single closed tag. We can take that out if we want to and just do that and that's okay. But when it comes to meta information, going ahead and putting an end slash in there is just fine. So again, I've done three things to further define the page to help with validation. Number one, this puts in the uh, doc type to tell it to test against HTML5 code. This is the language attribute that is placed in HTML so that we understand the page's main language is in English. And then we put in the meta tag for the character set so that it knows what kind of characters it's going to have to render in the browser as we move on. Now one of the things that Zeming showed me after class on, on Wednesday was if he went through and set this to Chinese, it would show English characters by default if he had any English characters in it, but it also forced it to use the correct Chinese characters when that was set. So that's the answer to, can you use two languages? The answer is no. But since the browser defaults to English, that is one that it will render, and you can specify other characters from other languages by changing the language up here. So there we go. Four basic tags to build the page, 
a helper tag to define the language of HTML5, an attribute placed inside of HTML to show us we're using English, and then this meta character set UTF-8 to know that it is using a certain kind of rendered character inside the window. So there you go. That is the basic setup for any page that you will ever create.